Right. I'm in this, what I call this very long field, which I get into when you get close to Longwood, which is that wood there. But I didn't do Longwood today. That wasn't the plan today. The plan was I've <sighs> followed a bit of the Mend It Way in reverse, right the other side of the hill, way, way at the other side of Cheddar Gorge there. I'd been round in a great big swoop all the way round. <clears throat> this field is becoming quite familiar to me now. I've done it years ago with the Army Cadets. I'm doing a bit of new bit in a minute up there. Right over there we got the um, wireless station. Another reference when you're out on the Mendips. It's always handy to know where that is. But it's um it's a bit cooler up here, but it's, the rain's holding off. I've just been talking to the sheep. I rescued a sheep here once. Um, <clears throat> he got his head. It was further down, but he got his head stuck. They go. They put their head in there to get the grass. He got his head and his horns stuck. So I had to sort of grab hold one of the horns and ease him out. And um, he stared at me for a long time afterwards. He he first ran over to have a drink off his mum. He was quite a big lamb. He had horns. He you know wasn't a small lamb. And then he just wouldn't stop staring at me for ages. He watched me go right across the field. Because I'd actually rescued him. He probably hadn't had a drink all day. You know, and all that sort of thing. The mother didn't think to come up. She might have done. But anyway, that's why this field is becoming one of my walking routes. Takes you down to Longwood. Takes you over to Velvet Bottom, which is right over there. Daisy knows all this area now. She was quite pleased with herself when she recognised that she'd been there. Over there we've got Lo um, Row Barrow Warren over there. Those trees are the its reference, those trees. Um, and the other side of course you've got Shipham and Row Barrow. And all the way up the top there you've got the Mendips. Um, where I am now I'm going to turn off in a minute because I've got to keep a little bit of video for the bit I haven't done before and I've only brought the one camera. So I'm heading that way, I'm hoping to go across a little track and follow a route I've not done before and then get onto this drove into familiar territory that I've done once, I think it's this year or it could have been last year I done it. I get my luck because I've done so much walking. I might have done it this year where I did um, a Winscombe to Row Barrow and Shipham walk. Yes, it was this year. Um, so that's the plan, but I've got to keep an eye on the time. Um, it's Somerset time for the buses still, to the end of September, or to the 21st at least. Then I'm going to have to get out quicker, sharper, um, to be able to get back for a bus. So I don't always go back to where I started from, see? So there's no point thinking, take Alberta the van out. Then you'd always have to get back, back, back to Alberta. You couldn't think, oh, I'll go that way home, because your, your van's over that way. So um, I do it, intend doing some um, Somerset churches in the winter. Um, so I haven't done a lot this year. I've been doing a lot of other stuff, but I, have, I haven't done a lot of that. I'm exploring the Mendips big time, and I've still got an awful lot to explore. I want to do the Nine Barrows, that's going to be one of my... Well, I'm going to drive there to start with. I want to do that, and I think, I think it's called Ashen Hill, ancient cemeteries. Uh, of the Wessex tribes. I feel I must get there. That's over a pretty way. Right then, I'm going to turn off now.